You never confront an angry moose. These things are crazy. <laughs> Josh, why are you at home? Well, if you're asking that question, you haven't been watching my vlogs and you're busted. But I'll just quickly get you up to speed here a little bit. <sighs> dun, dun, dun. Can't really see it from here, I know. I hit a moose. A moose, a real moose, a big moose. It's about the size of a dairy cow. I just nicked her hind end. Just nicked her. I pushed her off the road, I'm pretty sure. She's probably got a sore butt. So if you see a moose that's walking weird and limping, that's my moose. Tagged her. Shouldn't have been on the road. That's what she gets. But anyway, she took out my fender, and I took a bunch of... Uh, fur off of her butt apparently because I had a bunch of fur stuck on my fender and then I don't know what happened to her because I didn't see her after that <laughs> you know anything about Canada you never confront an angry moose These things are crazy and especially if she had a calf nearby I hope she didn't I hope she wasn't a mama calf so Diesel and I is over there supervising directing you're a good director we're gonna be at home for probably at least a week. So there's about a, at least a week of hometown vlogs coming up here. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe we'll go explore the bush around here a bit. One of these days. I wanna go, uh, I've never gone like, that way before. <laughs> uh, I've always, this is as far as I've gone to where my house is. I haven't been home that much. So we're gonna go explore the area maybe a little bit this week. Show you guys around the area. And uh, other than that, we'll be at home, just so you know, fair warning, we're going to be at home for at least a week here. And I can promise you that the weasel will be in every single vlog. Right, Diesel? Well, that's a huge promise to make, man. You better not forget about me. Who could forget about the weasel? He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Come here. Come here. Well, where are we going, man? Right here, sit. Good boy. Should we mow the lawn? Yeah? You wanna mow the lawn? Are you gonna do it for me? I don't think so, man. I can't drive that thing. You gonna watch and supervise? Outside? I, 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 I suppose so. I could do that, maybe. <laughs> You're so weird on the camera. Yeah, so we're gonna... Test out our riding mower today. But first we're gonna have breakfast. And I'm not gonna eat it at the table cause this is my house. Oh yeah. How do you mow your lawn? I mow my lawn like my life depends on. That thing is awesome. Wow. That puts a whole new spin on mowing the lawn. Were you watching, Diesel? Were you watching? Oh, I saw you, man. You were riding that thing like a boss. Yes, I was. Now I'm all full of grass. You like all this grass on me, Diesel? Oh, you smell kind of nice, I like. Yeah. 
I love the smell of freshly cut grass too. So yeah, it's all nice and cut out there. I'm just gonna go get the push mower out, go mow under the trees, then get the trimmer out and trim around everything that I couldn't get with the push mower. And then we'll see what we're gonna do then. Hey Diesel, what do you think of all these machines in here, man? What do you think of all these machines in here? So many engines and motors. You like them? <laughs> he likes them until you start them up. <laughs> it's like it's the end of the world for him. So, uh, oh man, that goes so much faster with a riding mower. You have no idea. It took all day to mow the yard with that push mower. Like, what is that thing? With that thing, it took like less than an hour. Everything was done. And Jesus just loves the smell of grass. You must be my boy. I love the smell of grass too. Real grass, like grass grass that you mow. Mm, I know a couple of you went ah right there. I know what that smells like too. I like this smell better. Anyways. So this is the snowblower we bought. First we'll start with the riding mower. How about that? It did not come standard. Uh, did not come standard with a Pepsi. No, it didn't. I had to buy that separately. You win some, you lose some. So this is a 2003 Craftsman LT1000. Uh, 42 inch lawnmower. Uh, it says heavy duty on there, 12 gauge deck. So heavy duty makes me feel a little more manly. It's a good thing. We only do one, we only do it one way, heavy duty. That's right. So that's, I bought this off a guy used in uh, the Steinbeck area. And it works perfect, it's in great shape, runs great. Has fresh oil in it, I checked, it's nice. And he sold it to me full of fuel. How often does that happen? And it's got lights, headlights. So you can mow 24 hours a day for your convenience. <laughs> and then that there, quite obviously, is my old push mower. I still use it for under the trees and stuff. That is, uh, that's a weasel. He pretty much just lies around. Hey, Diesel. He's three years old now. You're getting old, buddy. Oh, you're still young, you're a pup. Almost time to start thinking about uh, getting him a brother. I keep thinking about that. I don't know. What do you think, Diesel? Do you want another dog? You want a brother? Nah. Nah, we gotta wait till we settle in first. So let's get to the snowblower here. I did buy the snowblower brand new. Uh, first off, they didn't have any uh, reliable used snowblowers in the area anywhere. So Kind of a bummer, but at the same time, I'm kind of glad I went new because sure, I got a used, a really big like used riding mower. If that breaks down, it's not the end of the world. It's summertime, I can use the push mower. However, in winter time, when it's minus 50, I need a reliable piece of machinery that won't break down, that'll start every time so that I can get the snow cleared and get out of here. And so that I'm not tinkering on the engine in minus 50, you know what I mean? Even though I got a garage and it's kind of heated now. Anyway, so we did get the snowblower. Uh, it is a Yardworks Extreme Auger. Like I was saying, everything is heavy duty and extreme in this house. Uh, electric start, heated grips, 30 inch cleaning width, clearing width. Got it a Canadian tire. And, uh,. Yeah, that's it. So we're going to start this thing up right now because uh, I haven't started it yet and I figure I should probably start it up before I forget where I put the warranty paperwork and before it gets down to minus 50 and I actually need it. If it doesn't start then, well then it's going to be a lot harder to get it back to Canadian Tire, especially if I forget where the warranty paperwork is. Even though I do file all my paperwork away, but you know, it's always that one paper that you need right when you need it. That's the one paper that you forgot to file away, you know, or it got lost, or you can't find it, or... Let's just start this thing up and, uh... See what it do. First I need to put some gasoline in it. 
Pretty sure this thing did not come full of gasoline like this Yardworks lawnmower did. I'm pretty sure that they sold this to me empty. Oh, can't see in there. Stick my finger in there. <laughs> Don't stick your finger in the tank, children. Yeah, it's bone dry in there. Bone dry. All right. We're gonna put some fuel in there. We're gonna see if we can get this thing going. All right, diesel, careful. Don't sniff it. It's gas, man. You freaking sniffer. Go over there. So oh boy, don't sniff the gas. We got this thing all full of uh, gas now. It's a pretty big tank on there. I kind of have to go refill my jerry can. Anyways, uh, we checked the oil. The oil's good. Now we need a key. This thing came with a key. Diesel, where did we put the key? I thought there was an extra one on here somewhere. The key is on here. It's just on here. It's like a plastic key thing. You see that? Okay, let's get that untied. So that is the key. Okay. So this goes in there. Did you turn or anything? Okay, then we need to prime this thing. Three pumps. Turn this thing to choke. There, and we need to plug it in. If it's electric start, but it needs to be plugged in. All right, so first we gotta plug it in. Snowblower's running good, lawnmower's running good, everything's running good. I just started up the bike, I warm it up a bit, we're gonna go for a bit of a ride. I wanna go a little further down the road into the bush and see what my area is all about and explore a little bit because I haven't had that chance yet. So why don't you guys come with me? We're gonna go explore the area a bit. guys I told you I lived in the middle of nowhere out in the bush <laughs> this is paradise welcome to paradise where you can yell as loud as you want and no one will hear you hello you hear that that's nature. I love it. I need a dirt bike though. This bike doesn't really fit in out here. But, oh well, it works. It's having fun, that's all that matters. Oh no, there's cars coming. 
this is a special moment. Yeah, there's some cars coming. That pickup that passed me. I don't know if I cut that part out or not. <laughs> this pickup passed me. Totally didn't see it coming. I was looking around at all the scenery. Oh boy. But yeah, so we're just parked here on the side of the road. Don't worry, we have our four ways on. <laughs> like anybody's gonna care out here. You guys wanna go explore in the bush? I really wanna go explore in the bush. I love it here. Lots of ATV trails and whatnot. And this is it, guys. Like, there's no cell service here. There's no internet out here. Like, I've gone further into the bush than uh, where my house is, right? But, yeah. Hey there, neighbors. Give her. All you want, no one cares, just give her. So, oh, 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 look at this. That is a snake skin. Nope, it's just a bottle. Just a bottle, false alarm, false alarm. That would have been a big freaking snake. Yeah. So when I talk about paradise, when I talk about my favorite place in the whole world, in Southeast Manitoba, this is what it is. You guys gonna wanna go, wanna go deeper into the bush yet? Let's go further. Well, hello down there. We're gonna try this angle and see how it works. If it doesn't, I'll just work my magic and cut it all out. Turn on the camera in the front. All right, that one's rolling, this one's rolling. Are you guys ready to roll? Are you ready to rock and roll? I want to show you guys more of my area, where I'm from. My favorite place in the whole world. Let's go. Let's turn the bike on first, that, that always helps. All right, you guys ready? Whoa, did I bounce you? That was supposed to be more dramatic. Let's try that again. Wait, 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 wait one second. Wait one second. There we go. Hi. Hi there. I don't know if I'm getting this angle right, but... We're gonna try it out anyway. Let's go. Back on the road. What is this? Oh dear, bump, bump it, bump, bump, yep, 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 yep. Where does this go? Hello, nature. What's going on? Oh dear, what is this? Yeah, I definitely need a dirt bike. Definitely need a dirt bike. That would work a whole lot better here. Like a sand pit. Oh, this would be awesome with a dirt bike. Look at this place. It's like a big giant pit. This would be awesome with a dirt bike or a quad. Not on a street bike. Not on a street bike. No. Wait, you got a bug on you. Sorry about that. My bad. 
How's that? <gasps> that didn't work. Yeah, so we're out here in the uh, middle of nowhere. Who knows where? Whenever I get a dirt bike though, I know where I'm going. I'm coming back here. You hear that guys? There's a train. I don't know how many of you like trains. We got a train coming through town. I figured I'd see what kind of shot I can get with this thing passing. Here he comes. You guys ready? Probably traveling at about 90 kilometers an hour, 55 mile an hour. Coming from the USA, going into Winnipeg, somewhere I guess. I don't know, I like trains. They're sort of like truck drivers, but they have a lot of trailers and they can't really go anywhere other than on the track. But, eh. you guys like trains? Seriously, there's a train that goes past here every half hour. Every half hour. I'm not complaining, don't get me wrong, I love the sound of a train, I don't know why. Maybe it's the same reason that I like the sound of trucks. I don't know. I just like the sound of heavy equipment moving. Maybe I just like the sound of transportation. I don't know. But this will be the end of the vlog, guys. The sun is starting to go down. It goes down so early already. It sort of sucks. I miss summer already. Thanks for joining me today, guys. I will have another vlog up tomorrow, 4 a.m. Central Time. What am I gonna do tomorrow? I don't know, I have no plans. Honestly, I have no plans. So tune in tomorrow at 4 a.m. Central Time to find out what I end up doing. I always end up doing something interesting. But you guys will be there with me. I'll see you then, 4 a.m.